All right, so now I wanna show you how this chord melody works. So it's basically in C minor pentatonic with an added D. So the notes are like C, D, E flat, F, G, B flat, C. Okay, so the initial melody line um, of that main theme is... All right, just basically going down the scale. So the way I harmonized it was I took... That approach. So I basically harmonized below the melody. Okay, so this is probably the most common way to do a chord melody even on any instrument. So not just guitar, but primarily the melody should be the highest note. However, that's not always the case. So if we break it down, basically have a C minor nine chord. So what that is is like a C minor seven. So C, E flat, G, B flat. But then we're adding a D, okay? Then here we have sort of a chordal based chord, which is basically a chord built in fourths. All right, and it's starting from the fifth of that C, so G. So it's basically five, one, four, flat seven. Then it goes down to this shape, which is basically a C minor 11. Um, 11th is basically an octave higher than a fourth. So we basically have the four, flat seven, flat three, five. Then we go to this stock minor seven shape. So just root five, flat seven, flat three. And then this sort of minor 11, um, just barring the third fret, hitting the A, D, G, and B strings. So you have the root, the fourth, flat seventh, and the ninth. So all together, you kind of get this. Okay, the next part is... So that's basically an approach I like to use kind of often, is this where it, it basically takes like a, a common scale pattern, so... Like that. But instead of just playing the single notes, it's basically interval clusters. So basically intervals of seconds and then a third snuck in wherever it fits within the scale. Um, and it basically adds sustain similar to if you were playing a piano and you put the pedal on, those notes would ring out together. So you basically get... That effect, okay, so it's like sort of a chord melody style. Um, and you don't want to pick up either finger until you move them both to the next interval shape. So I could literally play it in chords like that. Right? Um, but it's broken up melodically. And that again is just sort of the, the pentatonic with the added D. Um, Now, added D gives you that nice minor second. So typically, the pentatonic is a scale free of those dissonances. Um, but when you add that D in there, it sort of adds that cool dissonance to it. <laughs> um, yeah. Then the next part. Just basically thirds. Down the minor pentatonic scale. Um, and then this last line. Okay, so this kind of goes the opposite of what I said uh, at the beginning. So this is basically a chord melody where um, the melody is the lowest note now. Okay, so that's how the line would be without any sort of double stops. Uh, double stops is basically two notes played at once. Um, and then I just... All right. I think it's... Yeah, so it's just the seventh to the root, fourth to the fifth, ninth to the third, and then root and fifth, just a strong power chord, which is just perfectly constant. Um, yeah. And that's the gist of it. Play along, try to figure it out, um, see how it goes. Hopefully you learned some 
something, you know, some sort of approach that you can utilize. And uh, if you want more of this, let me know. Um, and yeah, I'll see you guys soon. Thank you.